Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to make a tool shop GUI in Roblox Studio. Let's get into it. So the model is in the description and let's get into it. So insert a screen GUI into start GUI. And then I'm just gonna do these. And then rename it to what you want, I'll just say shop GUI, I guess. Then you can customize it as you want. I'll just make a blue shop, something like this. Okay, and then I'm gonna just customize it, make it rounded, then add a UI stroke, then put it around the border, do that. Okay, that looks good. And then I'll say here, Tool shop and then I like this font make it big make background transparency one okay yeah that looks fine then I'll name this to shop frame then I'm gonna make a separate button this is gonna open the shop so I'll just say tool shop here um, add UI corner and stroke. Yeah, yeah. I'll make it green for like green to open. There we go. Then I'll rename it to tool shop button okay and then inside the frame uh add another frame and then just rename this to whatever item you're going to use so i'll just say sword sword item frame okay and then customize it as you want then i'm gonna add text label sword okay that looks good Maybe this is a bit big, actually. Here we go. Then add, uh, let's duplicate this. Then here, I'm gonna put the cost pri price. So 250 coins, I guess. That looks weird here. Yeah, I'll get rid of the top one. Now I'll just put it in here. Colon 250 coins and you can change coins here to whatever currency you're going to use uh, you don't have to use this one then I'll add uh, oops add image okay let's actually do this 100 by 100 then just put that there then add in a text button. So this is going to be to buy it. Then let's make it green. This looks weird for some reason. Is this also a text scaled? Yeah, let's do something like this. There we go. And then get the image of your choice. So I'll get a sword. There we go, that's a perfect one. Copy, paste. Okay, and then let's customize it again. Then 
Then let's also add this into the sword frame. And also into here. Same as here. So here, yeah, actually no, let's get rid of it there. Make that a bit smaller. Move it up a bit. What axis is that on? Eight to eight. Uh. Okay, whatever, whatever. We'll just do that. Okay. And then in the text button, we'll add a local script and then get rid of that for now. Okay, first things first, we're gonna code it so that the tool frame will come visible. So insert a local script into the tool shop button and follow along with me. There we go. So that will code it to become visible. And then let's also add a local script and say script up and up visible is true. So we don't have to see it when we're busy like making games. And let's make this visible true for now. So now let's carry along with, actually, first things first, we need to get whatever tool we're using. So I'm gonna get the sword, free Roblox sword. Uh, no, then add a folder into server storage, then rename this to tools, then put your item in there. I'd recommend renaming it to the same as this, so it says sword here, so I'll rename that to sword. And it also says sword there, this actually changes to the sword tool frame. Okay. And then we're going to make a leader stats script so we can rename that. Because you need coins for this. Okay, follow along with me. Okay, there, that should be working. Let's play and just test that the leader stats works. Okay, boom, it works. Um, okay, so now we're done with that. So now we can go back into here and follow along with me. So if it's greater than or equal to 250, then you'll actually be able to buy it. So we're gonna say local tool, local tool is equal to game dot server storage dot tools, find first child, and then we're gonna put in the name of the item. So ours is sword. Um, and then we're gonna say here, tool clone dot parents equal to player dot backpack. And then when you buy it, it needs to say own. So then script dot parent dot text equal owned okay so let's actually put in here if script dot parent dot text is equal to buy so if you do not own it then you'll be able to buy it there we go now it should work let's make this visible false and let's test it so when we open this Oh, okay, we need to make a button to close it. So let's add in text button. Background to red. Then we'll just put an X. Make this big. Renoka 1. We'll do 50 by 50. Put it up here in the corner. Uh, let's copy these. Paste them into there. Then I'm going to name this to close. Close. Button. Then insert a local script and follow along with me. Okay. 
touch the tool shop button. There we go. Now let's make this visible false again. Let's test it. So tool shop, close, boom, it works. So when we click on buy, nothing happens because we don't have enough coins. Now let's go into our player and make this to 250. Buy. Tools is not a valid member of service storage. Ah, uh, because this is a local script. Okay. I'm going to try put into replicated storage dot replicated storage. Let's test that. Can't buy it. Let's change it in here. 250. Buy. Now we own it. So now when we click on it, it doesn't work again. Oh, and we also need to take away 250 coins from our player. So then to put it here, player dot leader stats dot uh, coins. Make sure to change coins to whatever you are using. Dot value minus equal 250. Oh, I also spelled that wrong. Okay, cool. Okay, and that should be it. Okay, let's go here. Changes to 250. Pull shop, buy, and we own it. And when we click on it, nothing happens again. Now let's change our coins, like something to 400. And we buy it again, it does not work. So it worked. But this is an additional thing if you want to add. So if you do not have enough coins, then we can say script parent dot text is equal to not enough coins. And remember to change coins to your lead stats. Wait one second, script dot parent dot text equal to oops, equal to buy. And it's also do script dot parent dot background color three is equal to color three dot from RGB. And we're going to make it red. Now let's copy this line. Paste here. Then we're going to get this background color. Okay, boom. Let's test it out. We do this. Buy. Not enough coins. Then we go here. Change the leader stats. To, let's do 300. Buy. And we own it. And yeah, there we go. So that is it for today's video. Bye guys.